Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Aaron Porras here with ILTV's Morning Brief. Terror is again rocking the heart of the nation as 14 people, including 12 soldiers, have been wounded in Jerusalem in a suspected car ramming attack. And police and medics say that two of the victims have been injured seriously. The incident is reported to have occurred just shortly before 2 in the morning, and the suspect drove into the Israeli crowd as they were standing on the sidewalk next to the first station, an entertainment hub in the capital. But in seconds, the driver both hit his alleged targets and was off, fleeing the scene. And while the suspect's car has since been found outside of Bethlehem, the suspect, him or herself, is still at large. Now, this incident also follows dozens of other clashes across Gaza and Judea and Samaria, or the West Bank, that have increased in severity in the wake of the United States peace plan. The Hamas terror group in Gaza, for one, has been calling on all Palestinians to step up their confrontations against Israel, and many have answered the call throwing stones, Molotov cocktails, and more all over the region. Two Israelis have been injured in a shocking plane crash in Istanbul, Turkey. The Pegasus Airline low-cost carrier was landing in the middle of a rough patch of weather when it began to skid off of the runway at the Istanbul airport on Wednesday, catching onto fire and then splitting into three parts. At least 179 people are wounded and three are dead following the accident. The Israeli passengers injured have been taken to local hospitals in the city. Now, the plane was reportedly affected by strong winds and heavy rain, and it slid about 60 meters before falling down a 30 to 40 meter bank. The damage was so severe that live images broadcast on Turkish television showed several people climbing through a large crack in the severed aircraft and escaping onto one of the wings. The cockpit was even sliced off from the bulk of the plane. Some are still being extracted from the destruction, and the Istanbul public prosecutor has now launched an investigation into the incident. This marks the second time in just two years that a Pegasus flight has made a dangerous landing. In January of 2018, a flight slid down an embankment at Sabon Airport in the Black Sea and landed just meters from the water. All 168 people on board were safely evacuated. A small earthquake has shaken northern Israel, but luckily there have been no reports of damage. Residents near Haifa say that they felt tremors on Thursday morning after a 3.8 Richter scale earthquake struck off the coast. One woman from Kiryat Motzkin says the tremor lasted about four to five seconds and that it was stressful, but nothing fell. And this mini earthquake comes after a 6.8 magnitude earthquake rocked eastern Turkey just last month. More than 1,600 people were injured and at least 41 were killed, and tremors were even felt across Israel. That's all for now, but for more news from Israel, remember to like ILTV on Facebook and on Instagram, and to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.